Deviated septum is actually the uh, we're talking about the the partition between the left and the right nostril. There's a sandwich, what I like to call it, of tissue, cartilage, and then tissue again. Um, and so what can happen is either from birth, you're born with it, or from getting hit in the nose, playing sports, getting hit with a baseball in the nose, whatever it may be, that septum can become crooked and it can become shifted over to one side. It can become S-shaped where it shifts over to the maybe the left side in the front and then the right side in the back. And so when this happens, you get congested and it can be immediate uh, where uh, you get hit right away and then all of a sudden you can't breathe for the rest of your life. It can be gradual so that the septum can shift over time. Some people are born with it, some people develop it in a kind of an acquired fashion. There's um, a couple things you can do. One is nothing. Uh, if you breathe okay, uh, the septum is not an issue. If, if you're happy, I'm happy. If the septum has deviated so badly that you can't breathe through one nostril or both nostrils, we can correct that. Um, that requires endoscopic surgery or basically taking a little camera through the nose and making a little cut on the inside of, of the nose and then uh, basically moving the, the soft tissue off the septum and then taking out the, um, the part that's deviated. And that straightens the septum uh, in the midline, basically in the middle of your nose, and that way you can breathe again.